Okay, welcome to this tutorial where we will be creating a CRT effect in DaVinci Resolve 15. Now let's get started. First let's add the required media and what's actually important here that um, we need the backdrop of the CRT for this effect and you can actually download that um, from this website that I uh, from this GitHub repository and I actually provided um, the CRT template image here. Um, as you can see, really nice CRT background. Um, you can download that for free and use it for whatever you like. Okay, so I already downloaded that, so I will be importing it in here. Yeah, and here we have that. Um, then we also need some kind of video that we want to show using the CRT. I will be using some data from a review I'm currently working on. It's a Mighty Magic 3 review. And let's have a look at the footage. Okay. As you can see, some really nice low resolution footage that will probably look much better using a CRT. So let's make, make that happen. Okay, first, and um, we have the clip here. And now let's go to the Fusion page. Okay, um, this is our the main media. Now let's in let's add in our CRT template here. And first thing to do is simply merge them together, and let's see how that looks. I always forget how to do this correctly, but we'll see. Um, so let's put this on screen. Yeah, but we don't want to just overlay it. We want to multiply it. So. Let's do that. Okay, that looks good. Now we have it uh, all on these sub-pixels. But as you can see, it's way too small. So we have to scale the small input video here, which has only has a resolution of yeah, 320 by 200 to this 4K template. Okay, let's do that. Let's add a... Let's scale this. Okay, and we have to scale it by a factor of 10.8. So now it matches up. I want to adjust it a little bit, but we can trim that off later. But still, when we, if you look at it now, it lo doesn't look correct. <laughs> it's way too dark, and yeah, as you can see, the subpixels seem to be correct, but it's way too dark. So what can we do? Essentially, um, 4K is still not enough resolution to actually show all the subpixels. So what we have to do is first increase brightness and then blur it. Let's do that. Yeah, okay. Uh, and the blur node. And I actually didn't do that correct. Yeah, it's correct, it's correct, sorry. Okay, so now we can make it much brighter. And after this, we have to add a blur node. Okay. Now, now let's go to the pixel level, see what looks good. This is up to up to your decision, of course, but I guess we still want to see a little bit of the detail of some pixels. So something like this might be nice. Yeah, that should be okay. But now it's too dark again, and let's brighten it up a little bit. I guess that looks nice. So now what a CRT also does, which this doesn't yet have, is that um, it has some kind of bloom or glow effect where the bright pixels also affect nearby pixels. And Resolve has it actually has an effect that's, that approximates this, and that's the glow effect. So let's chain that after this um, and show what it looks like. So now it's much too bright, so we can first decrease blur the glow size and then decrease the glow. Okay, something like this. I guess that's okay. Never know. I mean, you can tweak this a little bit later on, but I guess I guess this, this looks kind of nice. Okay. So now we have pretty nice um, effect on our hands here. Um, yeah, let's trim off these edges that we don't want. 
So. I guess that's fine. Okay. So now we have our output image. Okay. So now we have our CRT image. I mean, this already looks pretty nice. Doesn't play in real time, unfortunately. It's a little bit slow, but well. Okay. So now that is that's that's pretty much the effect done, essentially. But let's keep going and put it into an actual TV to see what the effect makes of that. So then let's take this image. Just made a quick quick and dirty TV. Okay, now let's merge that. Okay, so here we use screen. Now we overlay the image using the screen thing. Um, essentially, I mean, we could just scale it here, but um, let's use the four corner scaler. Um, corner positioner, that's what it's called. And now we can result is when we do that and that's wrong of course <laughs> we have to use it in here I'm sorry because we want no it's oh, not wrong we want to and this is wrong again I guess this is media out so now this one this is the one we want to yeah okay want to have it here That's better. Let's get that in the merge. Look, let's exactly. So now we can put that here. Fix the put this to the edges, to the corners. Sorry. This one down below. This one here. And last one. There, as I said, this is a quick and dirty job, just to show you what you can do with it. Okay, now it's still not matching up. Well, what the heck? Let's use some kind of warping to get, make it a little bit more snugger fit. Let's use the warper. No, it's not correct either. Whoop. We want to have that here. So now. Let's warp this. Take this up here. And last one. Well, I think that's good enough. Looks nice, but now if we look at this in the oh no, fusion, sorry. Of course, we want that as media out. Yeah, looks good. Now, when we look at this, it actually looks too bright. And that's because the background of the TV is too bright. So let's make the TV a little bit darker. So, colors, brightness contrast. Make it a little bit darker. That looks much better. Okay, let's go back to the edit. And now, if you look at it, it looks pretty nice. So again, I guess it's not. Yeah, I mean, it plays with 3 FPS, so. Nah. Not especially brilliant, but I mean, works. And as you can see, it looks pretty nice. Okay, then, thanks for watching. And yeah, see ya.